Hello and welcome to Not Fake News. Got a story here, straight out of Liberty Writers. Trump, 100% right. The media does not want you to see this two-minute two minute clip from Sweden. Oh, look at this tolerant Muslim. It's a moderate. He's a moderate Muslim, I, I bet you. On Saturday, Donald Trump held a rally in Florida in front of thousands of people during the speech. Trump referenced the violence in Sweden that the refugees have brought. Here is the moment during the historical rally in Melbourne, Florida, when the Trump tells the American people the truth. And the American people are shocked because presidents usually don't do this. You look at what's happening in Germany. Look at what's happening last night in Sweden. Sweden. Who would believe this? Sweden. They took in large numbers. They're having problems like they never thought possible. You look at what's happening in Brussels. You look at what's happening all over the world. Take a look at Nice. Take a look at Paris. We've allowed thousands and thousands of people into our country, and there was no way to vet those people. There was no documentation. There was no nothing. So we're going to keep our country safe. And we all have heart, by the way. And what I want to do is build safe zones in Syria and other places so they can stay there and live safely until their cities and their country, that mess that I was left by Obama and everybody else. Folks, we were left a mess like you wouldn't believe. But we're going to build safe zones. We're going to have those safe zones. You know, we do owe $20 trillion, okay? So we're going to have the Gulf states pay for those safe zones. They have nothing but money. And we're going to do it that way instead of taking massive numbers, tens of thousands of people into our country, and we don't know anything about those people. We want people to come into our country, but we want people that love us. We want people that can cherish us and their traditions of our country. We want people that are going to be great for our country. We don't want people with bad, bad ideas. We don't want that. Yeah. So the media has now attacked Trump for even taking talking about the refugee problem in Sweden. They have claimed that it was making it he's making it all up. Well, here is what Trump was talking about. Watch this moderate and I say that sarcastically, Muslim refugee slap and spit on a young woman and her children. Swedish police warn that Stockholm's main train station has become unsafe after being taken over by dozens of Moroccan quote-unquote street children. The all-male migrant teen gangs are spreading terror in the center of the Swedish capital, stealing, groping girls, and assaulting security guards. They grope girls between their legs and slap them in the face when they protest. All police officers are aware of this. But let's back it up a little first. The use of the word child is very disingenuous at best. According to Ingrid Karlsquist, the number of children seeking asylum in Sweden has exploded over the last 10 years, presumably because children are granted asylum much quicker than adults, and Swedish authorities don't verify the age of these, quote, Right, so they're sending in men wearing Mickey Mouse shirts and holding teddy bears. And saying we're children. Don't fall for that, they're children shit. Unquote, children. Now, Swedish journalists, being the same scum they are in most other countries, do everything in their power to maintain the lie of men being refugee children. Look, look at the child running with the other children. He's a refugee child. It's supposed to be, he's supposed to be 14 year old. Saad Al Sud is 14. I know I'm yelling. But he's 14, he's saying. What are we, effing retarded? Do we look stupid? 
For example, here is a picture of the fastest 14 year old in Sweden. <laughs> and here's another of a young teen cuddling with a teddy bear. Ah. The growing scandal over bogus child migrants was highlighted this week with the murder of 22 year old aid worker Alexandria Metzer at a Swedish refugee hostel for children in Gothenburg where her mother says residents lie about their age to get preferential asylum treatment. Yusuf Khalif Noor has been charged with her murder. When he arrived in court this week, the Somali was said to tower over his translator. One social commentator named Merit Wagner, an author and columnist on one of Sweden's daily newspapers, claimed on her online blog in November that administrators at the immigration service had been ordered to accept the claim that an applicant is a child if he does not look as if he is over 40 years of age. Okay. I can literally go say I'm a kid. 40 years of age. I didn't rewind that so he could say it again. He just said it again. One more time. 40 oh, years shoot. of age. Okay. So we have grown men posing as migrant children across the uh, We poor also babies. have migrant children... Yeah, I didn't pause it. It's done. That's it. That's because Sweden is quickly becoming the rape capital of Europe. And that's why. Sweden has been hit hard. They got hit off guard, people. According to the National Crime Investigation Service, there are 50 areas labeled as no-go zones anymore, where police cannot even enter anymore, they're afraid. If you didn't see it, this is the video. will piss you off even more. I urinate on people like you, he said. See, men like this from this country don't understand what it's like. They, they, they look down on women, so when they're having a uh, confrontation with a woman, they just do whatever they want. Okay, because that woman right there literally could beat the crap out of him if if she wanted to. That that woman behind the counter. And this one will probably hurt him too. Stand in line, you freaking big nose idiot. Yeah, yeah, we're all laughing at you, dweeb. Man, oh man, see, I'm never in the right place at the right time. Garbage cans would be swinging over this guy's face. Muslim savages try to cut a line, Sweden woman in line. I urinate on people like you and effing whore. Really? Share this article, patriots. The mainstream media is not going to show it to you. As a matter of fact, the the where I'm putting this video right now, I don't even want to say, they're probably going to not allow it either. So copy it and share it before they take it off. The mainstream media is not going to show you this. They're busy covering it up, and up what really is going on in Sweden and all over the world. Help us help Trump by getting the real news out. Help us share this article to one million times. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. If you want updates, um, you know, if you want the breaking news as it comes in, once you subscribe, hit the bell, and then you'll get the updates. And if you like what we're doing at Not Fake News and you want to help um, Trump build America again, please like our video. It's very important, and it means a lot to us. When you like our video, it pushes us up to the top of Google and YouTube and pushes the shitty crap leftist video propaganda crap that they video their videos down. I know I didn't I, I stumbled but you get the point. Like our video and you're helping. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time at your real news source, not fake news.